Hi, it's Michael from Fujifilm. I'm very excited today to tell you about a feature that I find so useful and helpful that I'm making this special episode just about that feature. You're going to find that inside a firmware that was recently released for three of our camera bodies, those being X-H2, X-H2S, and X-T5. Now, this feature first appeared in X-M5 when it came out in 2024. So this is a body firmware feature, but it's for your lenses. And what this feature is, is being able to change the amount of rotation that it takes when doing manual focus. And it changes the amount of rotation to go from minimum focus all the way to infinity. And you can do this for all of your lenses. So this applies to all XF and XC lenses, except for the ones that have the actual focus marks marked right on here. And they have the pull down focus ring and the hard stops, like this 16 millimeter 1.4 or that 23 millimeter 1.4. It doesn't apply for those lenses, only for the ones that spin around over and over and over again and don't stop. So those lenses, are actually controlled by the camera body. The camera body sends the commands to tell the lens how much to move. But for engineering reasons, the different lenses have different kinds of focus motors in them. They have different amounts of elements. They have different minimum focuses and stuff like that. So some lenses turn very, very quickly and some take a long time. For example, XF 33 millimeter 1.4 is one of those that I call rather twitchy. So in manual focus mode and linear focus, it takes very little rotation to go from minimum all the way to infinity. And that makes critical focus rather difficult. Now, some of you that heard what I just said think this only applies to videographers. No, this is very, very useful for still photographers as well, I assure you. All right, so let's take a look. The uh, XF16 to 80 F4, I think, behaves rather well right out of the box. <clears throat> but if I don't want to use the default setting, I can choose one of the presets, like 90, 270, or say 360. Or I can go down into the custom mode, <clears throat> and I can pick almost any number I want. My range of choices goes from 60 degrees to 900 degrees and I can dial in that number and forget about it. Now I can either pick a preset or I can choose one of those custom values. And guess what? The camera will remember what setting you just applied for that particular lens. That's right. So if you have 10 lenses, you have 15 lenses, the camera will remember as you switch lenses what you did for it already in setup. Now, if I decide I want to change lenses and go here to the XF 56 millimeter 1.2, well, this is one of those lenses that actually takes a lot of spinning, many, many, many turns for it to go from minimum all the way to infinity. Now, where that could really be really good for critical, critical fine focus, it could be, say, frustrating if I have a fashion subject that's moving back and forth. So instead, I can go into the menu and tell it to respond faster. I can say something like 70, 80, 90 degrees. And now I get a lens that acts like a completely different animal. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thank you.